Hi folks, meteorologist Matt Gray here in the 4 News Now for Solar Weather Center. Boy, some really scary thunderstorms on Sunday afternoon. Uh, some flash flooding around Lake Chelan in central Washington at the foot of the Cascades. And uh, some few flash flood warnings for our area as well as some tree damage in Colville. So some really nasty weather uh, on this Sunday. Still expecting thunderstorms for your 4th of July, but not expecting them to be as... Uh, as big of a problem as they were for some of us today. But certainly we'll have more chance to pick up some more rain around the in the northwest. All right, calm and dry uh, for the most part in the morning. Might see one or two kind of carryover showers as some of this moisture continues to head into our region through the overnight from the storm system. Uh, in the afternoon, with the heating of the day, we'll see those showers and storms pop up. The rain will clear out by sunset. Great for fireworks time, but not really much in the way of summer warmth. It is going to feel uh, a little bit more like spring. Not so much with our low temperatures in the low to mid 50s around the inland northwest, but as we head into the afternoon, that's when things are going to feel a lot different. You'll have some time to pull out the grills, soak in a little bit of muted sunshine through the clouds on this 4th of July. As we head towards the middle of the day in the middle of the and through kind of the middle to uh, later parts of the afternoon, we'll see those scattered showers and thunderstorms. But as we head kind of towards that five o'clock hour and beyond, we'll see things really calm down again across much of the area. Notice these temperatures struggling to get out of the 60s. In fact, I have Spokane hitting 69 uh, for some of our higher elevation benches around the region. Downtown will probably get into the low 70s, but there really isn't going to be much of a difference between, say, 69 and 71. So you are going to want to uh, probably dress a little bit differently, not too much. Uh, as we go into tomorrow afternoon, although this will impact kind of fireworks time here as we'll be solidly in the 60s by then. Let's go through the forecast radar and we'll continue to see some of the lingering showers and thunderstorms, particularly in Okanagan County through the overnight and as well as along the Canada border throughout the whole of our region. Once again, just one or two little showers, maybe a stray rumble of thunder in our northern counties as we go through Monday morning. And then those storms develop and track across the area again. Uh, the highest chances for some storms are going to be directly to the east of the Cascades. So in the Methow Valley, Okanagan County areas, and as well as some of the uh, bigger mountains in north central Idaho. But everybody's going to have at least a shot at getting a little bit of rain. But our rain chance is not quite as high as they were on Sunday. Now here we go. This is Monday evening, 9 o'clock. The sun is going down. We're getting ready for fireworks. And things look pretty calm out there, so that is some great news. Once again, temperatures uh, going to be on the cool side. We're talking about upper 50s, low 60s for fireworks shows across the inland northwest. Well below our average for this time of the year. If we were up into the 80s, then we would still be in the kind of upper 60s and 70s by this time. And instead, we are going to be quite cool for fireworks time. We end up being uh, feeling more like it should this time of the year as we get up into the mid 80s, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Next weekend, looking a whole lot uh, less dramatic than this weekend. So we can be thankful for that if you want to make up for some uh, some lost time out on the boat, perhaps, for Sunday because of the storms in the region. All right, we'll keep you updated on the forecast on the 4 News Now, KXLY.com, KXLY Plus, and the 4 News Now YouTube channel. Have a great rest of your holiday weekend. Have a very happy 4th of July. We'll catch you again later.